Welcome back everybody to another episode of Minnie's Mod Marvels. Today we'll be covering part 5 of Kraken's Better Dinos, the Big Boyo edition. Well, large dinos, but Big Boyo's more fun. Please keep in mind that Kraken continues to update his mod, so there may be some changes from the time that I post this video to the time that you may see it. That aside, as usual, please check the description below to use any timestamps to jump to any creature you wish to learn about or check out the mod itself. And don't forget to check out the previous parts to learn of shoulder, small, and medium dinos affected by Kraken's better dinos. Well, let's get to it! The Allosaurus Today we begin with the Allosaurus, that pack attack theropod that just loves to gang up on unsuspecting prey. Kraken gave these guys a bit more versatility with the ability for players to now sit or stand on one's back which could give you and your tribe an edge when needing a bit more mobility and firepower in battle. You'll also notice that their footsteps aren't quite as loud and they're not as noisy while idle either. Another tweak Kraken has given these baddies is a reduction of stamina running and attacking by a whopping 50% and has increased their damage making these guys more formidable tames. The Basilisk. Next up, we've got one of my personal favorites, the Giant Danger Noodle. These nope ropes have been given the ability to breed, thus expanding your spitty snake army by your own terms without the need to sacrifice the offspring of too many rock drakes. They've also seen a double projectile speed to their deadly acidy spit. As far as transportation goes, gone are the days of a massive snake getting stuck on a rock as they've also had their rotation rates and step heights improved. They are now also immune to radiation poisoning, making going into those deadly areas much easier. If you care to take your snake for a dip, they've become rather amphibious as they will regain stamina while in water and have an increase to their swim speed. And lastly, but certainly not leastly, you can show off your beastie's power with an intimidating roar by pressing the C key. The Brontosaurus Littlefoot's not so docile after getting a few touch-ups by Kraken. You'll find your Bronto has more bang for its buck with a few new abilities. Pesky critters running underfoot and making it hard to hit can now be squashed by your Bronto's new stomp attack by pressing right click. Still not enough impact? Press C and watch your long necked friend rear up with its two front legs and stomp down dealing a devastating blow to those below. This attack is so strong in fact, you will find metal and stone nodes and stone structures being crushed by its impact. This makes Brontos an ideal new metal harvester. Be cautious, however, its stamina has taken a bit of a hit in order to accommodate this new power boost. The Diplodocus What felt like one of the once most useless tames, Diplos have seen some nice changes with Kraken's better dinos, but have also become slightly more formidable in the wild. You'll find wild Diplos will now utilize a new tail swipe ability which can stun a mounted target, or dance around the battlefield with a stomp attack when reaching below 50% health before fleeing the scene. While tamed, you'll discover your Diplo can now do more than just taxi the tribe around or shove people around. Just like their wild counterpart, you can now tail whip enemies to initiate that stun with left click. Just be aware that this has a 10 second cooldown. With your right click, your Diplo will follow your Bronto's lead and attempt to stomp out the competition. This ability doubles as their way of harvesting berries and thatch. And don't worry, your Diplo can still nuzzle with the press of C. With the press of the X key, that dance can also be yours as the Diplo will attempt to stomp out anything small or careless enough to get underfoot. The Carquinos. Raven Krabby Boyos have seen some delightful new changes. First, you'll be able to have tiny, cuddly crustacean babies by submerging your crabs entirely in water and breeding them. Like the Pisa Bufo and the Squid, make sure you breed your Carquinos in a safe location as you'll not be able to move the eggs once they're laying. Carquinos can now attack while in a falling state. 
You'll find a new item when killing wild carquinos called the edible crab claws, which can be used in place of death worm horns when taming mantas, as well as used as a replacement for rhino horns in the recipe for the broth of enlightenment, lesser antidote, and other recipes which may require a horn. One of the neatest changes isn't just the fact that Kraken built this awesome new platform saddle for your Carquinos, but also the fact that while wearing said platform saddle, the Carquinos can pick up and wear glow pets as an extra light source by pressing and holding left click. You can turn your glow pet on and off with your alt fire, which by default is control. And if the little guy needs a break, simply have him jump off through the radial menu on your Crabo. Carquinos have been provided a new ability with the press of X, which gets your crab's groove on by spinning in a 250 degree circle and swinging its massive claws. You only have yourself to blame if you get too close and take several sharp attacks. And for any flyer unlucky enough to get too close, you can find your crab can now snatch them right out of the air, with the exception being quetzals and wyverns of course. The Mammoth Mammoths can now actively run while attacking as their tusk attack will no longer stop them. However, this also means that they'll no longer harvest berries. If you check within your inventory, you'll notice that you can now craft any wooden vanilla structure that you may need on the fly. Their harvesting has been adjusted a bit as while stationary, they'll gather wood, while on the move will result in more thatch. Ever wonder why Parasers were blessed with a platform saddle but Mammoths weren't? Well, Kraken has fixed that little issue with their own platform saddle. Just take care as you cannot have your Mammoth carried by a raft or another platform while wearing this particular piece. Mammoths have had their stamina doubled, while their stamina consumption on attacks and running has been reduced by 50%. They've also been given a nice boost to their base weight and lastly can no longer gather fiber. The Quetzal. Quetzals have gotten some much needed TLC by having their flight speed increased by 50% and their stamina increased by 25%. You'll also find yourself no longer losing your Quetzals to wandering small pests like Dilos, as they'll no longer become targeted by said creatures. On the flip side of that, Quetzals have become deadlier towards smaller creatures with its damage having been doubled. And for a bit of a stylish flair, the Quetzal will adjust its stance depending on which saddle it's wearing. The Reaper A couple of simple changes to these powerhouses. You'll find the Reaper is now no longer scared of Yudi's roar and will no longer take any fall damage. You'll also notice that any creature that dares inflict a bleeding debuff on your Reaper will find a nasty surprise from its bl deadly blood as the blood will now inflict an acid debuff on any enemies too close. The Tyrannosaurus Rex Everyone's favorite boss buster has not been left out of Kraken's list of changes. You'll find the Rex not only sporting a new roar, but can roar while charging towards its target. The Rex can now also wade through higher water, giving it less chance to drown and better mobility. The Rock Drake. You can now have your Rock Drakes get jiggy with it, na 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 na, and make all the babies. The Rock Golem. Rockmen have had a few really nice changes done to them. First and foremost, you'll find all materials related to ore have been given a massive 75% weight reduction, making these guys an absolute must have for material gathering. Pressing C will trigger your golem's new spin attack, which doubles as a means for harvesting ore and stone and strikes any target twice. An unfortunate, but not so surprising twist, you'll find that ankylos and doids are a bit more deadly towards rock golems, as they will inflict full damage when attacking them. On the brighter side, their running stamina usage has been halved and it's immune to all types of bleeding debuffs and crystal wyvern attacks. The wyvern. Wyverns haven't had too much happen to them, though you will be pleased to discover that female wyverns can now be milked for 1-3 to three wyvern milk every 2 hours. 
They've also been given an aesthetic roar by pressing your Alt fire key or control by default. And for the Piste Resistance, these guys are now breedable for all the little Wyron babies. The Uteranus. A few simple changes done to the Fluffosaurus Rex in this mod. You'll find their bite animation has been sped up while their headbutt attack no longer stops their movement. And the final touch up to these boots is their ability to provide their rider 100 hyper and hypo insulation so you can enjoy the deserts and frigid winter zones with a bit more peace of mind. And that concludes the Big Boyo edition of Kraken's Better Dinos. Thank you for sticking it out this long and for your support. Like before, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to press that thumbs up or subscribe for more content. My hope is to do the aquatic creatures affected by Kraken's Better Dinos next, and finally the new items and consumables. Kraken has put a lot of hard work and dedication into this mod and continues to do so, so I absolutely recommend you add it to your server for a lot of goodies. Hopefully it'll not only bring a more enjoyable experience to the community, but maybe give Wildcard a few hints of some TLC they can possibly integrate into the game. But I digress, thank you again for joining me, and I hope you all have a rockin' good day.